Okay, so last week I read this super amazingly awesome book that I instantly was totally shocked that I hadn't read before and hated myself for actually not reading it earlier and I honestly wanted to jump up and start running around to every single person I saw and telling them to read this book. It's so good. Um, so then I was kind of inspired start doing little book review thingies. So, hi! Book review number one, The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. So, like, uh, I just can't even think of words to describe it right now. It's, um, kind of a sci-fi book a little bit, but not in the sense of, like, aliens and, um, things. Kind of like a Brave New World. Like, it's set in futuristic America where, um, we've kind of destroyed ourselves due to, like, nuclear war and stuff, and, um, what's left of the country has reassembled into a new country called Panem, and it's arranged so that the capital is in the center, and then the rest of the country is what they call districts, and they're arranged in a circle around the capital. And there are currently 12 districts. There used to be 13, but the 13th one tried to rebel against the capital, and they got destroyed. So every year, to punish the rest of the districts and to prevent them from rebelling, to give them a reason not to rebel, um, the capital likes to exercise its power by holding what they call the Hunger Games. So every child um, between the ages of 12 and 18 from every district is entered into this drawing. Um, and two kids are picked from every district to participate in the Hunger Games, and they're called Tributes. And um, it's the Hunger Games are pretty much the most savage, brutal thing you can imagine. It's pitting these children who, you know, range within six years of each other against each other in a battle for pretty much a life or death. Like, the last kid alive wins. And they're heralded as heroes and victors and stuff, and their district gets all of these wonderful, like, supplies and things because everyone's really poor. And, um, like, District 12 is where the main action kind of takes place, where the um, protagonist is from. Her name is Katniss, and she's just, she's super badass and awesome, and I want to be her. <laughs> um, but it, it's just, it's super amazing. If, um, if you like books that take place in kind of a fantasy futuristic society and that have a lot of action, a little bit of romance, super awesome awesomeness. You should definitely read it. Like go out and buy it right now. You can get it for about eight dollars on Amazon. Super but otherwise it's like seventeen dollars from like Barnes and Noble, which is where I got mine. Um but seriously it's one of the most fantastic books I've ever read. It's about four hundred pages. I read it in less than 24 hours and I immediately had to go out and buy the sequel which is called Catching Fire and the third book Mockingjay is due out on August 24th so that I'm so pumped um yesterday I was shopping I went to Hot Topic and I literally almost choked on my tongue when I saw this shirt and I had to buy it even though it's $22 for a t-shirt because look District 12 tribute hell yes does um go out right now buy this book and read it and love it because it's wonderful okay. yeah and like the trippiest thing is um because kids in like the districts are so poor um you can actually enter your name for like however many people are in your family so you have four people in your family you can enter your name an extra four times every year to get extra supplies for your family so you don't like starve and die. So 
like the really well off kids are entered just once a year because they don't need the extra supplies so they're like super unlikely to get picked but then like the poor kids who are just entering their names to support their families get picked all the time how rough would that be like i'm it's just the whole premise is kind of mind-blowing and fantastic I can't talk too much about it because I don't want to give anything away. Although, and there are things that I'm sure are kind of like expected because of the title and stuff like, duh, probably someone's gonna go to the Hunger Games and the story's probably gonna follow them a little bit, but it's just, it's fantastic. Go read it. Do yourself a favor and go read this book.